Number 35. Number 35. At the other forward position. At 6'6. Six, six, number 79. Number 79. At the point. At 6 foot 3. Number 17. Number 17. In the middle. 6 foot 10. Number 53. Number 53. The other guard position at 6'6. Six, six. Number nine. Number nine. The head coach of your home team. Make some noise for your New Orleans Pelicans. Welcome everybody to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. So a look at our starters for the Knicks and for New Orleans. And Greg, taking a look at this one here tonight, the clash at the guard position really stands out. No question about it. Both teams rely heavily on their backboards to get it done. And I'm interested to see which backboard brings it tonight. Shoots from 12. Pelicans pull it in. Defensive positioning so important, and he could not have played him better there. To the wing right side. Misses in close. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Free throw line jump shot. That shot is off. And his lateral quickness really allows him to stay in front of the shooter there and challenge the shot. And this is the key. In this game, you've got to be able to move your feet to be successful on the defensive end. First team foul. Pelican shooting their first free throws of the game. For New Orleans, number 53. Two shots. And he makes the first. And you spent your first four seasons playing in New York. What's that like? When the Knicks are winning, Kevin, there is no place you'd rather be. The fans are incredibly smart, loyal, and they'll treat you like a king. But no doubt that media pressure is for real. And so he makes both from the line. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. First quarter of play, one minute played. seconds left in the first quarter of the game from 13 that one's off he starts the game with a miss that's a shot he makes with regularity but that time the defense up to the challenge just three on the clock that one doesn't drop at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. 
Hawkins ahead. They lead by a bucket. Four. A New Orleans back in a moment. Two. And this has been a fairly close game for the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from New Orleans? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. Cruise it from outside. Five points in the game. He feels such a sweet three-point stroke here. And it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter. Pocket six. Off target from outside. Terrific close out there. The challenge to the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. From the top of the key, a shot off that time. Knicks trailed by five. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. it up high number four. and you can see him give a this little nod and then just burst number to 25. the rim for the alley-oop slam a pair of teammates greg with a terrific feel for each other and a strong number finish with two hands oh. oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush ah, they're going for the throat Let's it go from deep. Train to the three-pointer. Listen, everyone three. knows what kind of shooter this guy is. Just his presence on the floor creates space. And they call him a great shot here. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more of a set on that screen. Easy call. You know, minutes. he's just leaning Number a little 67. bit. He tried to get away with it, but Number boy, the nine. official all over it. They get it again. And give him credit. Good awareness of the time yeah. remaining. And to me, the way you end quarters no. impacts how you end the game. It can go a long way between a W or an L. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. Thanks very much, Coach. Your team has found success when they've gotten the ball into the paint. Is that the goal to do more of that in the second half? Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. A competitive matchup for New Orleans in the first quarter. They led by two after the first. They couldn't hold on to the slim lead they had at the start of the second quarter and headed into the locker room with the game all knotted up. And, uh, Ken, what did you see out there from the fellas? There's been a ton of energy in this building tonight. And the way this one's going, they're going to need the energy down the stretch. It's a tight ball game, and their fans know how to give them a lift when they need it. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? They need to play with better energy on D. Some of these guys were going to sleep out there. <sighs> anyway, they've allowed over 50% shooting. Gave up way too many open looks. I'm sure they're here down in the locker room. Maybe they'll come out angry. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Doors, we're in the age of podcasts and social media, and we hear more than ever from the players, even right after game. <laughs> Kevin, I think that's probably the only danger right when emotions are running high. 
but I actually love the new age of league media. The reason being, the players can now be in charge of their own narrative. They have content, and they know how valuable that is. And for New York, that puts them in the lead. Three. I'll tell you what, he came out of that locker room raring to go. One twenty-five left to play in the third. Off target with the free throw line, Jay. A contested mid-range shot can't be what they were looking for there. Well, especially with that defensive player in the area. You know he's going to find a way to get into the shooter and make him uncomfortable. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Brandon Ingram's work ethic has made him an all-star. He was in the Pelicans facility so much, they banned him on off days. He said, I hate it, but I use those off days to visualize the game. So what is he like? He says being called out. Players at this level think they're above that. Kevin? Not him. Hey, David, thanks. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 54 seconds left to play here in the third. Inside, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. And, and those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. The Pelicans trail. There's 38 seconds left in the third quarter. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Still anybody's game as we reach the end of three. Pelicans lead by two. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling right here on 2K Sports. 12. Anticipation there to stop. 
to the paint. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. 60 seconds off the clock here in the fourth. It's deflected. Tries again. Tries yet again. Whistle blows, but this kid is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And that one sends the bench into a frenzy. Let's say these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. One shot. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Pelicans? And guys, how about the unselfishness and all about working that ball around, shifting the defense, and just seeking out the best shot? And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. Got it! No more. No more. No more. Ball here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They trail by four. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now, let's take a look at the new guys player of the game. And he's put on a terrific show of skill in the paint. A combination of move, footwork, and that soft touch down low. It's all added up to one dominant performance for the big fella. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alden. Hey, Kevin, well, let's summarize what Tom Thibodeau went over with his guys during the break. Both the oldest players, hey, they're feeling the pressure over there. Keep pressing, keep fighting. They're starting to crack. Well, let's get this game even. All right, David, thanks. And again, New Orleans with the triple. Looking to close it out. And might have been the back break. Well, at this point, they're so far up, it would take a real collapse to give this game away at this point. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. See the Pelicans taking the W here. A confident win 